Hey everyone, it's Return of the Weekend. I'm Ray. And I'm Emily. And this week we're going to get to unbox and put together for you the Hachi Camel. It's a fat tire e-bike. Fat tire cargo bike, actually. Cargo, yeah. It carries a lot. Um, it's a step-through style, so I'm thinking it might be a good size for Emily. She's been wanting a Hachi. Um, if you haven't seen before, I got the Rhino and I got the Green Leopard Pro. Um, so it's her turn. So I'm going to utilize some extra hands and have her help me put it together and show it to you guys. So stick around. Look at your dog. Hey, what are you doing over there? That was a pretty simple, straightforward unboxing. Um, doesn't look like any damage. Hachi takes a lot of time and uses a lot of packaging materials to make sure it gets to us. Not any scratches, dings, or anything. And good job FedEx um, for not uh, dinging it up for us. <laughs> so now that we got it unboxed, we'll put it together for you. First thing I want to get on is the front tire. They do put this plastic protective piece on there. It just pulls right out. And you want to match the rotor up with the brake caliper, which will be on, if you're sitting on the bike, the left-hand side. My lovely assistant's going to lift up the bike for me. Hmm. And bring it a little closer. This little piece here keeps the forks from bending during shipping. And as she... There also is a little piece of plastic that has to be taken out of the brake between the brake calipers. Those are also for shipping purposes. Once you do that, you put the rotor through the brake pad and you slowly lower it down onto each fork, like so. And then you take your front bolt. This is your front axle. Pull off this little end cap and you have two springs and you want to, you want the outside to be the wide end of the spring don't lose them one end goes through here put your spring on the wide side on the outside followed by your cap kind of get it finger tight Once you get a finger tight, and you have the lever here, tighten it up. That puts the front wheel on. And that's it? And that's it. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. And you see the bike will stand up by itself. It's got the center kickstand. Makes it kind of nice. Kind of like, like a moped, if you guys remember mopeds. <laughs> Alright, now, next I think we'll put on the handlebars. All right, you ready to put some handlebars on? I'm gonna try. Okay, <laughs> so this is not like uh, my any any other bike that I've put together as far as the handlebar stem. This one has a foldable stem, which which seems pretty neat. So it looks like it just goes like this, 
and it has a tension lever with a little spring action clip there. I'm assuming to keep it from coming off while you're riding. Emmy, you want to help me? Yeah. So squeeze this up and pull that, lock that up. Nope. Yeah, you gotta lift the clip. There you go. Now do it all at once. Do them both at the same time. There you go. Pretty simple. Okay. And then we're gonna probably have to unscrew this Allen head here and take that tension lever off just to get the handlebars on initially. So uh, we do have a tool somewhere. There it is. Simple. Okay, you have to probably have to hold this too while you do it. And just watch, there might be washers on the bottom piece. So there's a washer on top oh. and a washer on the bottom. And I dropped. That's okay. Okay, I got it. All right. So, oh, and I just dropped the bottom washer. <laughs> <laughs> watch these little pieces. You don't want to lose them. What do you got there? You got the screw. Focus. That was the washer and then I, okay. All right, so now we're gonna put the uh, handlebars there. Jackson. That's Jackson. All right, so you wanna get the handlebars sort of lined up. Remember, we're gonna do this all loosely and then we'll do final adjustments once we get it assembled. Okay. So this piece has to come through like so. And then we're going to take our bolt with our lock washer. And this goes through there. And then we're going to take our pressure lever and our let me, washer. Let me come in this way. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's going to go curved side facing up. Okay, I got it. Get a finger tight, and then you can start using your, go back to using your Allen wrench. Okay, if you put it in the 90 degree orientation, while you're snugging it down, that'll allow you to be able to cinch it down to get the handlebars tight. Okay. Again, I'm not going to go too tight. This is all just preliminary until we get make final adjustments for uh, for Emily. All right. Next up is the fender for the front wheel. The hardware is already installed. You just have to loosen it up. Start to hold anything, or are you good? I'm going to feed it through the back. And position it with the bracket to the front of the bike. I'm going to take the included hardware with the washer. Feed it through the back with the washer and the lock nut. back and that's it in the back I'm just gonna do it finger tight for now next you have the brackets for the fender one on each side of here the hardware also comes pre-installed you just have to loosen it up and figure out which way it goes. I think I'm going to go underneath. I think I'm going to go on top. So I'm going to put the bolt and the washer through the bracket first, followed by the washer and the lock nut on the back. And again, finger tight. And we're going to repeat on the other side. One thing I forgot to mention is the 
headlamp does incorporate into the fender bracket, so I'm going to take that off and put the headlight on. And then make sure you're through the back. And again, I'm just going to finger tighten them until we do our final adjustments to aim the headlight and line the fender. That'll work for now. So once you get everything sort of loosely fitted, you want to adjust your fender to make it sure it's straight. And you want to adjust your headlight to make sure it's straight. And then with your Allen tool and a 10 millimeter wrench on the back side, go ahead and snug it up and then make adjustments if it moves while you're trying to snug it up. And once it's snug, I usually give it a good turn with my wrench in the back so it doesn't turn the light when I'm trying to screw it in. Next up, you want to take your side brackets and an 8 millimeter wrench on the back side. And your Allen tool and snug that up. You do that on both sides. Now I like to see uh, an unbox what kind of goodies came with it. So we do get a bike tire pump. A little touch. Probably charger, pedals, instructions. Here we go. Instructions. Well, miscellaneous bike tools. I like bike tools. Allen. And your standard pedals. Let's see. Ooh, I got some instructions with this guy. Very nice. Nice color instructions. Nice pictures. Looks very easy to read. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Very nice color instructions. And I'm assuming this is our charger. I am correct. And charger instructions. All right, Em's gonna put on the left side pedal for us. Clearly marked, and it has reverse threads. I try to get them in as far as I can go, fingers, with my fingers, and then I'll use a 15 millimeter wrench to snug them up. This one you can go ahead and torque it pretty good. Yep, <laughs> got it. Just be careful not to uh, scratch the Puddle. paint. All right, I think that's fine. Okay. Good job. We'll do the other side now. She got her Halloween nails did. Look at that. Hmm. A little extra. I'm sure this will be out well after Halloween. Hey, now. Have some faith. <laughs> Here's your wrench. Mm-hmm. Good. <gasps> that should be good. You don't have to be super doesn't tight. doesn't feel like it did anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. It's starting to look like a bike. Ooh. And keys to your new automobile. <clears throat> okay. And that it is. First look at Emily's yes. new camel. Cargo bike, look at that. Fat tires, you got the 20 inch fat tires. Hello, Scarlet. With the hydraulic brakes. Front and rear fenders. Bright light, how bright's that light? Why don't Do you remember how to turn it on? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh wow, yeah okay. 
That's nice. It's got four LEDs in it. Wait, wait for it. Oh, the horn. <laughs> oh. I sound like an emergency vehicle. Yeah, that's going to scare the heck out of me. <laughs> me too. Look at that blue color. I love that blue color. Me Hard me to too. see it in here, but it's sort of like metallic. Very nice. Yeah, it's pretty. And there's the main battery there. And if you come around back, here's the backup battery. Uh, should, they say it gives about a 90 mile range. Um, you got ample room to hook up a pretty, looks like a pretty beefy basket for mm -hmm. extra storage. Uh, the foldable stem. Why don't you show them how the foldable stem works? If you remember. You don't remember, do you? It's this right here. Yeah, you got it. Lift the little thing up, pull it up toward you, and then fold down. Nope. Lift this upward. Oh, uh, yep, there you go. Oh. <laughs> I can't get it. From can't that. get it? Okay. <laughs> Here, let me see. There you go. There we go. So, if you want to store the bike, pretty sweet. I was wondering why this was sort of off center, but now I understand why. Oh, here's more things to peel off. Ooh, stickers. Okay. Get it on. Those are very satisfying. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Now you fold it back up. Remember how to lock it. She can do it. Do I lift that again? You got it. Yep. Clicks right in right into place. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Easy adjustability on the handlebars. Just release the pressure lever. Loosen it up, and then you can adjust your handlebars on the fly without any tools. Beautiful LED color lit display. Mm -hmm. Tells you all your necessary functions there. You got your on-off switch for your headlight. You got, like Emily showed, she couldn't wait to try that one out. The horn. And even turn signals. Heck yeah. Working tail light, working brake light. Massive cargo area. I can't imagine all the accessories they make for this. We'll have to check out with Hachi to see what all they make. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's beefy. That's a beefy still aluminum frame. There's another look at the gamma hydraulic brakes. The 750 watt motor. center kickstand. I think Emily might have her new e-bike. We got a Hachi. Emily got a Hachi. I now do love my... Take a first spin. Well, we'll have to do that right now. Yeah. Am I going to ride the... Uh, yeah, am I going to ride the Green Leopard? Or am I going to ride the Rhino? Or should I ride the X3? Hmm... <laughs> Well, we'll figure You're it out. This. Well, maybe someday she'll let me ride it. What do you think, Scarlett? <laughs> She's like, I don't care as long as I get to go. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Well, there you have it. That is the unboxing, assembly, and first look at the Hachi Camel. You fat tire cargo bike? I was going to say cargo bike. What do you think? I like it a lot. Thank you to Hachi. Mm -hmm. Love the color. That blue metallic is sharp. I yeah. do love that. It's comfortable. It's just my size. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Perfect step through for someone who's 5'6". Um, I yeah. can't wait to see what all we can put on the cargo area. Um, you can. Add, it also looks like you have some hardware to add accessories to the yeah. front too. So I'm going to reach out to Hotchie and see what all they offer for it. Um, when we do our uh, ride review, uh, maybe I'll have something on there. Maybe some mirrors. Um, maybe something on the back. Maybe we can even get something for my dog to ride on the back. Oh, Scarlett, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks, Hachi. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. If so, give us a like. And if you like our stuff, subscribe. Yep. Until the next return of the weekend, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.